Hello everyone, I am back with part four of my D-Stash lots and I will have three lots today. I do have three other videos. I do have a few of the D-Stash lots left, so I will link those um, three videos for you below for your convenience. So let's go ahead and get started. This will be lot number 10. And this lot will be $18 shipped. So you will get an assortment of ribbons and laces. Or actually, I guess this is all uh, lace. Ruffle lace, some eyelet lace. You will get a bag of an assortment of ribbons. And I think this particular lot has the majority of the color blue. So here's some more eyelet ribbon or ruffle. So you will get that. You will get one of the cigar cutting vintage bags. I am including a vintage book and let me see if I can find the date here. It's the Scarlet Letter. Um, I'm seeing the date 1850, but this book is definitely not from the 1850s. Um, I'm not sure, but it is a really pretty book. It is vintage and um, would be perfect for a journal. So you would get that. Here's some vintage wrapping paper. And you will get, um, it says ruled newsprint pads, but it is vintage. You can see there's some nice aging, so you will get quite a bit of that. Here we have some lace fabric, and it kind of has an iridescent shine to it. Here's some blue ruffled trim and I believe this is satin if I'm not mistaken here we have some more lace fabric and another piece of that same lace fabric all right here's another bag of an assortment of pins and ribbons. And this is actually, this part here, um, it's not that big of a piece, but I thought it would go good on a tag if you make tags for your junk journals and things like that. It is a piece of um, hair ribbon from the 40s or 50s, so I just didn't have uh, the heart to toss it away because, you know, I, I think it can be used on... Um, a tag. I make a lot of tags for journals that I make and the baby books that I make, so um, that's kind of what I was saving these for, but um, as I've said in all my other D-Stash videos, I just have to get rid of some of these supplies. I have too many. Alright, so here's one of the um, vintage school... Um, I guess they were used in school to teach kids how to... Uh, tell time. I'm guessing. I could be wrong. Here we have some blue rhinestones. I don't believe these are vintage. These are probably newer 2010. So these are newer, but they fit the color theme, so I went with it. Alright, so then we have some um, I don't know the difference between 
hem binding, hem tape, seam tape, all that stuff. But that's what I believe all of this is. Here's some more in different shades of blue. Here's some uh, really pretty, this is one of my favorite colors. It's kind of a turquoise color. It's called Parakeet, but it's seam binding, never been opened. It is vintage. It looks like at one point it was 25 cents, but then it was marked down to 13 cents. So that's definitely vintage. Here's some more um, different shades of blue. We have some vintage gold cowbells. This would definitely be cute on a junk journal. Uh, okay, we have some more seam binding, never been opened, vintage package. Here is a roll of vintage ribbon. And it looks like, I guess those are sheep. There's quite a bit left on there. You will get several of the vintage repair tabs. Looks like I have four in here. And I threw in a few of those marble-looked mini lunch sacks. Those would be great in a junk journal. Uh, we have some vintage buttons still on the card. And then finally we have a cute little... Um, I don't know if that's considered embroidery. Stitched hanky. So this is lot number 10. And it is going to be $18, which includes shipping. Let me get this out of the way, and we will take a look at the next. All right, so this is going to be lot 11. This one will also be 18 shipped. It looks like this is going to be an assortment of pinks. So first of all, we have... Um, a baggie full of different ribbons. There might be some lace in here, uh, some rickrack, but again, I was saving these remnants um, to go on tags, so that was the intention for those. So there should be some nice size pieces in there to make some tags. Here we have a really pretty vintage uh, fabric. I guess it's considered fabric ribbon. So there's still quite a bit on there. And this is some vintage fabric ribbon. It has never been used. So um, there's still the entire roll on there. Here are some of the vintage flat back pearls. I used these for flower centers and they worked great. Then we have a few um, antique keys. Here we have some seam tape in pink. And that's a really nice graphic on there that I would definitely use in a junk journal. Let me see if I can find a date. I don't see a date, but um, I've never seen uh, seam tape packaged in a nice graphic like that. So I would definitely use that. Um, all right, we have some more. I guess this is satin. I'm not sure. And then we have some flat back pearls. I believe they have adhesive on the back. And some vintage buttons still on the card more vintage buttons, and then some cute little hangers. I, I don't know what these are for. I believe they came in a little scrapbook pack that I got, um, but of course they would look adorable in any crafting project. All right, so we have a vintage hanky here with um, a flower sewn on. Here is some pink lace fabric, a pink doily. Okay, these I received years and years ago in a swap, and um, they don't 
I didn't know what was in here. I was just going to provide the envelope. But I see it has my address on it, so I'll probably I'll probably cut off my address and just send um, this part of the envelope. It is made of foil, but um, someone made those for me. I'm not sure how they did it. I guess with a die cutting machine or something. I don't really know, but here's some other ones. Here's the Eiffel Tower, a butterfly, and I guess a peacock maybe. Oh, that's a cool one. That is really cool, actually. And another butterfly. So you will get all of those. Here we have a stack of envelopes. I believe the majority of them are vintage. We get um, a stack of these. And here's some smaller pink ones. And these kind of have a purple tint to them. There are some, I believe these are called coin envelopes, so you'll get some of those. Those are newer, those are not uh, vintage, but you do get a stack of those. These are vintage, they are $19.93, and you'll get three of those. You will also get a vintage, actually several vintage greeting cards, probably from the 40s or 50s. And 25 cents. That's hilarious because everyone knows how expensive cards are these days. Oh, 10 cents on this one. So some of them have not been used. We have some more cards. These are perfect for tea dyeing or coffee dyeing. And what do we have here? I guess just a note card. And then we have package of stationery, I believe. Yes. So there's still quite a bit in there. I loved these envelopes. I believe I got these at a church sale and just have never had the chance to use them. So I'm passing them along. Um, just some more little pieces of ephemera, vintage ephemera that will definitely um, be a nice addition to any craft project or junk journal. Alright, so we have another vintage hanky. And I thought we were just about finished, but there's still quite a bit left here in this lot. Here is a vintage lunch sack. And we have some decorative push pins. So I just broke off the back and um, glued these to whatever I was making. I did use two of them for a project I was working on, but I don't need the rest of them. Then going with the tea theme, I found these at a thrift store years ago, and I think they're a game. They have questions on them, or I, I believe it's a way to start communicate or um, conversations, rather. Which decade had the best fashion? So, and I think then that would get a conversation started. Um, and then they have, each of them have a different saying. What is your most guilty pleasure? So, um, I used a few of these in some junk journals that I made, but I have not used them. They've been sitting, so I'm going to pass those along. Here is a very cool bookmark with the Fair Delise at the top. I get it open so you don't have a glare. So that would be perfect for the junk journal. And then these little things I absolutely loved. I found them at an antique mall and they are just adorable. They're little Dolly Dingle gift note cards. And it looks like there's 12 in here. It says six different. So those are just so adorable. Then the last couple things, um, you will get some of the, I believe these are transfers if I remember correctly, but um, I thought you could use the package for 
a project and you have the transfers on the inside, you will get a booklet of the ruled um, newsprints and you can see some of them do have some nice aging on there but there is quite a bit left on the pad. And the last thing is um, some of the vintage wrapping paper. So this is lot number 11 and it is going to be $18 shipped. The last lot has a little bit more, so um, this will be lot number 12, and I think I'm going to send this um, or offer this for $24 because I don't believe I'm going to be able to get it into a small flat rate envelope. So this one will be um, $24 shipped. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. And I think it's kind of a sewing theme is what I was trying to put together. I tried to match some of the stuff and do kind of a curated D stash. Uh, but this was kind of cool. I remember finding this at a thrift store. Um, I just love the packaging and a lot of these things I purchased because the packaging, not for the tool inside, but I am leaving that in there. But um, I just thought that would be really neat inside of a, maybe a sewing themed um, junk journal. So there you go. And then we have some vintage buttons still on the card. Here we have several craft paper envelopes. Um, it looks like I included some orange and brown in this lot. Here's some orange um, lace. Here we have some vintage seam binding. It is orange, never been opened. Um, here's some plaid vintage... Um, fabric ribbon and I don't think a little bit has been used but there's still quite a bit on there here's some vintage I guess it's fabric ribbon also and there's still quite a bit left on that roll we have some seam binding in brown here are a few pieces of trim and you can see that has kind of a sewing theme and these are newer these are from Michaels so um, I believe I bought these probably about five years ago or so. So they're not vintage, but um, this is this is really cool. I really liked the looks of this. And it is vintage, as you can tell by the packaging. So that would look very cool inside of a um, vintage junk journal. Then we have some more seam binding, vintage, never been opened. Here's some red seam binding. Here we have some more red and brown seam binding. Here's a little assortment of colors. It looks like a dark green, a green and pink. Then we have another little assortment of, um, I'm guessing it's all seam binding. Here we have some more. So kind of an assortment of colors there for you. Okay, so now we have some Okay, we have some more of the snaps, and this packaging looks, looks perfect. I think the other one kind of had a little bit of a bend in it, but this one is perfect. And we have some vintage buttons. So on the card, more vintage snaps. Um, here's some vintage hook and eye. Some more seam binding. Okay, there's two separate colors there. And then we have some more hook and eye on the card, and I just love the vintage packaging. Okay, so these two, I just love the packaging. They're snap fasteners, but look at that packaging. And that's why I grabbed them. It was my intention to do a junk journal, kind of a sewing theme junk journal, but it didn't happen, so I'm passing these along. And look at this one. I think it's just adorable. I love 
the vintage packaging. So I'm trying to find a date really quickly. I don't see one. You will get that. Here's some more vintage um, packaging. This is an iron-on mending fabric. And okay, we just have another little uh, hook and eye piece there. Here we have um, some of the vintage repair tags. I think there's more in here. There's another one. I included some vintage flashcards here. I will go through them quickly. Not sure if I had that one in the screen. So just a nice assortment of flashcards, perfect for junk journals and crafting and whatever it is that you do for your um, craft projects. So there is that. Then we have one of the marbled mini lunch sacks there. Also one of the vintage um, cigar scrap bags and I just, I loved those. And here we have some vintage tracing paper. And I believe there's still some in there. Um, 1954. So that is really cool. Here's a learn how book. Um, I'm trying to figure out learn how to what. I guess so. Yes. So, and look at these. The graphics. I'm guessing this is probably 1940s, 1941. So this is really neat. I don't think I've looked at this. I think I probably found it at a thrift store, set it aside, and never had the chance to look through it. So it is really neat if you like this kind of stuff. I happen to love looking at vintage. Um, paper items. So you will get that. Aunt Martha's favorite quilt. Um, I guess this is some quilt patterns. Again, this would be perfect for a junk journal. Okay, let's get moving here. We're going on 22 minutes. So um, here's some more of that newspaper ruled tablets and it does have some nice wear. Here we have some um, stationery. It's really cute. I think some of it has some images on the back, I believe. Yes. So then the last thing I'm throwing in this one uh, someone purchased one of the D-Stash Lots and she did not want the Jello recipe booklet. So I'm just throwing it in because I think there's going to be room for it. So this one is going to be $24. It is lot number 12. Um, it will be PayPal only. And if you're interested, I will put my email address below. Just send me a message letting me know which lot you're interested in. And thank you so much for watching.